Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I am at the care home here and I thought I'd do a little vlog about how autistic people cope coming to care homes. As you can hear they are currently having building work but that is the care home in the full building behind me. It is a really nice care home inside. It's like a hotel but I would say prep before you come but you don't know how the person you're visiting may react to you, how maybe in their mindset but it is really nice. I found today's was it very very quite anxiety provoking and my person who I came to see didn't seem to really want to spend much time with me. It was quite upsetting and daunting because obviously being in the care home environment it's not easy for me to begin with so for me to actually you know have to spend time here with all the noises and different residents and things can be quite overwhelming for me but I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit more so you can see the whole actual care home behind me here it is a, actually a lovely lovely care home it is currently having building work but as you can see that is the whole care home behind me here and it is something that you would have to prep beforehand i will include some pictures of the inside of the care home from the internet later when i get home but i want to show you kind of the full care home image here so you can actually see but i'm at the care home i just left from visiting my nan who is a resident here but yeah, that is what the care home actually looks like here. And then placed out here outside. So you can see the driveway from the care home here. But yeah, it is something that I would really urge you to look into if you are visiting people who are residents in care homes to do your research because they can be quite overwhelming places. And like, this is the actual entrance here so you can actually see the care homes behind me here but it is a really really nice care home again let me just back up a little bit so you can actually see this is the actual driveway entrance to where the care home actually is so i would definitely prep your research in case you don't know what to expect it is quite a overwhelming building to be in especially with the noises and especially when the residents don't really want to talk or don't really want to eat it is a quite a compact home. There is only a small number of rooms. I think in total, um, the, the home holds 65 residents and the home is mostly for people with Alzheimer's, dementia, Huntington's disease, motor neuron disease, elderly care, etc. It is quite an expensive care home to be in as well. So again, this is the actual driveway. And then you can actually see I mean, this is the actual official park view entrance over here. So, I would definitely like prep yourself and you know, try your best to um, you know, visit care homes regularly and get yourself on track with what they want to do because it is a very overwhelming thing visiting a care home, especially if you have like autism or learning disabilities or physical disability may trigger you with noises and smells it is quite a overpowering smell of things as well so you do be really careful when it comes to actually being at the care home and visiting it is really quite peaceful i must admit like it is a really peaceful place i want to show you back up here again just to show you again what the actual care home looks like so if i back up a little bit you can actually see what the actual care home actually looks like from here so you can actually see that's the whole care home here where i actually was just for the last 45 minutes or so but i would really prep you to plan in advance you know plan your trip plan how you're going to get here because it is a very timely process i've had to catch two buses to get here it took me an hour and 20 minutes to get across town and as you can see now i'm just walking away from the exit but it is a lot of greenery around me as you can see this is quite a nice peaceful area i keep on walking down here i'll show you a snapshot of the park which is opposite the care home but i'm trying to keep this very still so i don't wobble as much and walk a bit slower than i usually would do to keep this on track but i want to take you along with me and show you the care home and the actual area where people are but this is a really really peaceful 
care home it is a really nice environment but again you do have to be prepped so i'm just changing hands so you can actually see where i'm at behind me is the um the main road so i'm trying not to get my chubby fingers in the way as you can see for miles it's literally parkland and literally as you can see I'm walking up the main road and yeah this is a really peaceful um, walk back to the bus stop so I can get my bus up here okay I just missed the bus and the cop car's just gone behind me <laughs> oops I hope I'm going to stop but yeah I'm just walking down here back to the local bus stop which is just across the road here but I want to show you kind of where I'm at again lots and lots of greenery behind me as you can see it's but yeah it was a really quite a stressful visit uh, she didn't seem to want to talk much or say much to me in general but it, I'm glad that I came out, you know, saw her, communicated with her, gave her the photographs of the family and gave her her favourite chocolate because that is what she loves, a good bar of whole nut chocolate and some lovely family photos for her to look back on. But again, I am going to show you the scenery over here. Give me a second. Just got to swap you over so you can actually see where I'm at. But I really... You know it is quite a thing to be panicked about and you know I'd really plan your visit plan what to do what to say and maybe take some activities with you like coloring books or mindfulness books or reminiscing activities sorry I'm about to drop my drink uh, take some photos or newspapers of years gone by you know try and include them in activities try and recollect their history their knowledge and their experiences because it'd be the best thing to get a conversation started and the conversation to be fluently help make sure that you check what they've been up to as well with regards to their previous activities and stuff as well sorry my drink's about to drop yet again but yeah i just thought i'd do this little video so you can actually see where i'm actually at but my bus stop is actually just over here behind me so yeah I thought I'd take you along with me and yeah it's just a really little short vlog bye guys